Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back, and yes, it is finally time to conclude the tournament for 2021. Well, unless I do another one in September, but... Fingers crossed, for your sakes. Because you lot want to do a tournament straight after this one, but I don't. <laughs> but anyway, enough about future tournaments, let's talk about this one. And yes, we will have the grand finale between Ultima Dino King and Laos to come, but first we got to do the third place playoff, which will see Ultima Dino Queen take on Maximum Pyrus. But before we get on with these matches, I would like to talk about what's going to happen after the tournament gets done. So after this tournament gets done, I will get back to doing mini tournaments like I did with the Fire Tournament and such like that. But it'll be probably a week after I finish this tournament before I post them because <laughs> I get, I'm worn down from doing tournaments, okay? Give me a break. And I will put the voting poll up, so what tournament would you like to see? I think, I have a feeling that Lightning or Wind Tournament is going to win, but we'll just have to see. Well, unless I don't put them up, then they won't win. And yes, normal Dinosaur King episodes will be coming back next week, which is awesome because I, I missed doing it. And I may have some stuff planned. <laughs> so hopefully... You'll see, check out some never-before-seen content of Dinosaur King relatedness. Um, also, Jurassic World Evolution Mod Showcase will be happening next week. I'm just having an issue with one of, with, well, with two of my mods because they use other people's mods and it's getting, <laughs> it's becoming a pain in the ass to get the okay to showcase them. So yeah, that's basically what's coming up after this tournament. And I will also say that when I do another tournament, because I will be doing one, it's just a matter of will I do it September, will I start it September, or will I start it next year? When I when it does happen, it will be the same as this one, so it'll be group stage format and such, but the top eight combatants of this tournament, so that'll be Ultimate Queen, Nopi, Slifer, Lausp, King, Darius, Lepoke, and Pyrus, if you, if you guys all re-enter the next tournament, you will all be in separate groups. If it's eight groups of six, yeah, I think it's eight groups of six like this tournament, then yeah, you'll be in separate groups. If I only get 32 entries, then it will be four groups of eight, like the tournament before this one. In this, in that case, only the top four will be separated, in which case I'll be Queen, King, Lausp, and Pyrus. So yeah. Stuff to look forward to for the future, but let's not talk about that yet. Let's talk about the present. And let's finally get on with the third place playoff match between Ultima Dino Queen and Maximum Pyrus. Alrighty ho then. Up first for Ultima Dino Queen, we have a Uteraptor. Ultima Dino Queen surprisingly lost in the semi finals. I, I thought she would win, but the Alpha Aprocanthosaur is proving too powerful. But this Uteraptor definitely did damage in the semis, just not enough. As for Pyrus in the blue corner, we have a Shunosaurus who also did damage in the semis, but like the Uteraptor, it didn't do enough damage. And both of these two are quite unlucky in their matchups, you know, and this could have easily been the final, so let's see which one can finish on a high. Well, I would say Pyrus would get the highest ever finish for a debutant, but um, Monolotho G still holds that record. Actually, technically, Laos holds that record, but you know, I don't count the very first tournament because everyone's a newcomer. So I don't really count that. But yeah, the last tournament where Monolotho G made it all the way to the final. But I will say, Maximum Pyrus, in terms of the newcomers in this tournament, Won the tournament out of, all, out of all the newcomers. And so far, Maximum Pyrus is winning this match. And Maximum Pyrus is going to have a 1 0 lead. And I don't think all the Dino Queen's got a hit yet. Alrighty then, as for Queen Second Dino, we have a Pesta Sela Claudia. Yes, and thanks to this tournament, I can actually pronounce it kind of properly now. <laughs> so, ooh, ooh, yeah, it was, it was Aladar. They entered a piss of Sela Claudia deliberately just to hear me butcher its pronunciation. But it backfired, didn't it? 
I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a piss to see that Claudia did well in the tournament, but, you know, in terms of his true objective in getting me to butcher the pronunciation, it backfired. Oh, speaking of a piss to see Claudia, though, here comes a shockwave. Can Queen get back in the match? Well, she's pretty much guaranteed a hit here, but... Oh, wait, that's an interesting one. Can Ocean Panic activate? Because Scissors is gone. So I don't know if Ocean Panic can activate. Well, it's not going to activate this time because Queen is going to get off another hit, but not Shockwave this time. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, Pyrus getting off the Hydro Cutter. Big damage coming up Persecilla Claudia's way. Ooh. Oh my god, look at that! Almost killed it! Oh, that's a tie. Oh, the Shootosaurus! Surviving by a sliver. But Ultima Dino Queen in big, big trouble because in the... Oh yeah, this is actually a rematch from the group stage. And unlike the rematch, Ultima Dino Queen is losing. But can Super Rajasaurus turn this match around? It's gonna be tough, but you know, I'm not counting Queen out yet. And well, I don't need my notes, I remember that the Awaken Mode's on free. And I think Queen's gonna need Awaken Mode if she wants any chance of winning this match. Oh, come on! I mean, she got like two healths. Okay, that's once. Oh, oh, oh my god. No. Twice? Okay, finally the Shunasaurus bites the dust. It'll be a magma blaster and a light recovery, and next round will be awakened in time. And I think if Queen gets a crit, she might actually one-shot the, La the Lanzusaurus. But, we all know how many hits Queen has got in this match. Only three. Compared to Pyrus's probably like five or six, maybe even seven. Actually, yeah, about seven, I'd say. But anyway, as for Pyrus' second dino, we have a Lanzusaurus. <laughs> He's probably thinking, where was this luck when I faced Loust in the semi-finals? Could have done with that. Oh, it won't be Awaken Mode yet. Because they're fresh. Oh, that's a tie. Tides will suit Pyrus now. Oh, and that is game over for Rajasaurus. Well, it should be. Oh, it's not! Oh, the Dino Queen still has a chance and is awakening time. Oh, she gets the hit! It's a light recovery! Oh my god, I didn't kill it! Wow. And it's a volcano burst! Queen not beaten yet! I mean, one hit is gonna win it for Pyrus, but, you know, that's a tie. Oh, that light recovery stopping Pyrus winning with a tie! Oh. Okay, the Lanzusaurus did die, but because the Rajasaurus died in the tie, Pyrus is going to win this match, so, yeah. Just skip this bet because we already know who's won because the Rajasaurus died. Well, we can't really give Pyrus the Billy Spectral Lancer because the Rajasaurus won't survive, so no need to stall the match. We know who won. Maximum Pyrus gets revenge on Ultima Dino Queen from the group stage and will take the third place crown. And that, for a newcomer, is a very respectable finish. So yeah, Maximum Pyrus finishing their tournament on a high. Ultima Dino Queen, oh, still a respectable fourth place. And that is still higher than me, so be happy. <laughs> but right, now is finally time. It is time for the big clash between Ultima Dino King and Lausp. 48 combatants. 46 have been eliminated. Only two remain. Ultima Dino King and Lausp. And before we get started, let's have a reminder 
Actually, I want to go through the big turning points for these two throughout their tournament campaigns. And I've picked two out for each of them. Well, one e for each of them, but two in total, which I think were turning points in their campaigns. I actually think that this matchup against Ibuki was the turning point for Ultimate Dino King, because this was a win or bust match. He had to win this match. If he had not won this match, then Ultimate would have been knocked out of the group stage. But the fact that he had, where is it? Well, the fact that he had a 2-0 lead at this point, as well, the fact that he was 2-0 up with Brachylophosaurus, and the fact that he had an Earth Dinosaur coming in, which would have had the type advantage over Ibuki's whole team, I think that was crucial. I mean, Ibuki does come back into it and, you know, give him their credit, but, you know, the damage that Ultimate did with Brachylophosaurus and Super... Well, with Brachylophosaurus mainly, but Super Taller, the fact that the Alpha Acro, all he had to do was get off a hit and it would win. I mean, it's Ultimate Dino King at the end of the day, so they didn't exactly make it easy on themselves, but... Look at that. And that, for me, was the turning point for Ultimate. You know, they were kind of struggling a bit. You know, they got an impressive win against me in the first match, which we don't talk about. You know, it was an impressive win. But since then, they had a bad run of form. But I think Ultimate hit form right in the nick of time. And because of this match, in my opinion, I think that is why Ultimate Dino King is in the final now. Because of this match. I mean, look at it. Like, and the fact that he got that bonus point as well. I can't remember who he got that. Oh, yeah. He can't remember who he got that against. I think it was a losing bonus point. Like, how crucial these moments can be. Like, just because you finish, like, fourth in the group doesn't mean you can, you, can, you can, won't go all the way. Because in the knockout rounds, all you need to do is win. You know, winning is all that matters. So, yeah, that's... That's the turning. That was the turning point for, for for Ultimate, in my opinion. Now Laos was a bit harder because you know Laos fared a lot better in the group stage than Ultimate did, and you know Laos was pretty much through before the final round began, so he didn't have anything to worry about. But I think this matchup against the Isosaur mute, <laughs> this matchup against Dark Ashtar, I think was a pivotal moment for Laos because this is Dark Ashtar's second Dino. The fact that Laos got off the hit here to kill Paris, I think this is Paris, yeah, Super Paris, I should say, that was a turning point for me because Black T-Rex would have come in and this Black T-Rex has the type disadvantage against our Isosaurus, which means, let's fast forward it, even if Black T-Rex got off a hit, it would not have been lethal because of Isosaurus' super strong defense. I mean, maybe a crit would have killed it or a scissors, but anything else the rock probably wouldn't have killed it so that meant Laos was in like own can had to be hit twice to be killed the isosaurus whereas because of the type advantage as you can see there black t-rex only needed to be hit twice as well so while the help well black t-rex had way more health at the beginning the reality was that this match was actually was actually closer than the health suggested and look at that one hit and a tie, and all of a sudden, Laos is pretty much one hit away from winning. And the random number generator was kind to him there and giving him that big hit, which finished off the Black T-Rex. But that could have easily have gone Dark Ashtar's way, because all they needed was one hit, and they would have won. And that, for me, was a, the biggest moment for Laos in the tournament. And that moment there, for me, pretty much got him to the final. But yeah, that's enough talking about those two matches. Let's get on with the final. I honestly think Ultimate Dino King does have the slight edge in this match because of this matchup. At first, we have a Brachylophosaurus, which will be at the type advantage against Alpha Kentrosaurus, and that could be key. So I do think Ultimate does have the slight edge in this match. But I also think... It could all come down to what Eoraptor becomes, because if it becomes a Margosaurus, it will have Ocean Panic, and that could swing this match Laos swift. Anyway, as for Laos in the blue corner, we have the Alpha Kentrosaurus. I think if it gets off a bit of poison, it might help it in defeating the Brachylophosaurus, but the Brachylophosaurus does have Nature's Blessing, which I do believe cures poison. 
And I think Emerald Garden might as well. We should really test that. Or we start with a tie. But that will suit Ultimate more because it will nullify that spike arrows. Oh, it's another tie. But again, that will suit Ultimate more. Oh, that's a third tie. Nothing to separate the two so far. Oh, Ultimate gets the first hit. The first hit goes to Ultimate Dino Kit. But the effect of Move Break Breaker has expired. And life strikes back. And light recovery to come as well. But you can see that type advantage there. Oh, the poison as well. The poison on the Brachylophosaurus is definitely going to help Laus's cause. As is Earth Barrier. Big hit that could be from Laus. Because look at that poison there. Pretty much making up for the type disadvantage. Oh, but Ultimate Dino King getting off a big crit. That Earth Barrier though. Stopping the damage. Well, limiting the damage. So Laus has the narrow lead. Oh, that's another tie. And again, Move Breaker will nullify the spike arrows. Oh, but Laus, despite the type disadvantage, is going to take a 1-0 lead. And the light recovery to add insult to injury. So Laus does have the early lead in this final. As for ultimate second dino, we have a Super Talorurus. But we've seen Ultimate in a situation like this before. So don't count him out yet. And this Super Talorurus has the Awaken mode, which could be pivotal in this matchup as well. Because I think an Awaken mode Quake Saber from the Super Talorurus might one shot the Eoraptor. Ooh, that's a tie! We've had plenty of those in this matchup. Here comes the Quake Saber. I mean, Tiebreaker's not going to do anything because the Kentosaurus is going to die. Ultimate Dino King, even in the score. <laughs> I should say that they faced each other twice, these two. And Ultimate Dino... Actually, no, they faced each other three times. And I don't think Ultimate Dino King has won a single one. The first time they faced was in my very first tournament. Where Laus won resoundly with his Piantnitskisaurus, which would go on to win that tournament. And then, in Ultima Dino King's tournament, this matchup was the final. And Laus, once again, proving his strength over Ultima Dino King with a resounding victory. And then, in the group stage of my last tournament, these two go bounce net. And once again, Laus proving too strong for Ultima. So, can Ultima get revenge this time? You know what they say, fourth time's the charm. And while I was blabbing, the Eoraptor came in and transformed into Mega Raptor. Ooh, I, I, I think that's, a, that's good for Ultimate though, because while it does have the Hurricane Beat, it will not have Ocean Panic. Okay, that's once. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. I'm so glad Random Number Generator is being good. Ooh, an Earth Barrier as well. Ultima Dino King tightening the screws, turning the screw a little bit. But Laos still has the lead. Oh, here comes a hit from the Eoraptor. Defense boost and tie bomb incoming. But next round could be the big turning point in this match because it is awakening time for Talarurus. Elemental Pinton! Oh, Laus gets the hit! Oh, how big could that be? The Talarer has denied the hit. A hit from Laus, another tie bomb. A tie will finish off the Talarer. The Eoraptor, look, it has been mightily impressive in the knockout rounds for Laus. And once again, it's showing its form. Ooh, but the Talaro is not done yet. A crit coming in. But look at our defense boost. Hardly a scratch. Laus, I think, has definitely turned the screw on this match. And once again, is on top. 
Here comes an Earth Barrier, but I don't think it's going to matter at this point because, well, a tie will kill Talarurus, and I think a hit will kill it anyway. Oh, we're about to find out. Oh, the Talarurus survived! The Earth Barrier keeping him breathing. Oh, it's a tie! The tie bombs will go off. The Talarurus will die, and Laos will have a 2-1 lead. Oh, here we go. It all comes down to this for ultimate. We have the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. This beast has been the MVP for Team Ultimate Dino King, and it was pretty much the reason why he defeated Ultimate Dino Queen, and it's pretty much the reason he's got to the final. And the fact that it doesn't have a fire move means it will not have be at a type disadvantage against the Isosaurus should Ultima get that far. Because if it did have a fire move, I'd probably say Laos would win this match at this point. Oh, a crit from the Acro! Oh, that's Eoraptor dead and buried, and it all comes down to this. Laos's third dino, the Isosaurus. Seems to be a staple of Laos, like the Kentra used it before and can it win him the tournament and regain his title oh it all comes out to, oh this is everything the, the even stevens they're both on full hp they're both down to their third dinos what a final it's been oh ultimate gets the first hit and it's a crit and it's an attack boost Look at that damage! A decent amount of damage done there. Can, can Ultimate secure this win? Oh, that's a tie. But I don't know who that will suit, to be honest. Oh, Ultimate get in the bed! Can Ultimate finish it off? One hit away from winning. Oh, it's a tie! Ultimate on the brink of victory! Oh, Laos gets the hit! Well, a tie bomb's gonna do nothing. Oh, <laughs> Laos not dead yet! Oh, he's got another hit! Oh, it's all gonna come down to this! It all comes down to this. A tie will, well, a tie will mean, means it's a draw. A hit from Ultimate and he wins. A hit from Laos and he wins. Oh, Ultimate just won! Oh, it's Dino! <laughs> oh, poop. I clicked rock instead. Okay, yeah, Ultimate won that because it was scissors against paper, yeah. Ultimate has won! Ultimate Dino King has won a tournament for the first time ever! And we have a new champion! And on the fourth attempt of asking, he's finally defeated Laos! And there's no better stage to do it on! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, that's, that is that is absolutely stunning match. Like, that was so even, so back and forth. Neither of them gave an inch. Just when I thought maybe Lausba turned the screw, Ultimate fights back. And, oh. Actually, let's see what the next one would have been. Okay, Ultimate would have got the next hit. <laughs> next one? Oh, the, come on, RNG. Oh, that would have been a tie. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimate Dino King has won the 2021 tournament. Uh, well, yeah, that's it. Let's just uh, give Ultimate Dino King his five minutes of fame. Winner! <laughs> Let's give him his five minutes of glory. 48 combatants started, 
and only one stands supreme, and that one is Ultima Dino King. And Louse will finish second, but... Oh, he wanted our title, he wanted it back, but he's not getting it this time. Ooh, that, mean, that means, well, I've won, I won the last one. Louse won my very first one, and he won Ultimate's tournament, so he's won two. And now we've got Ultima Dino King as a champion. <laughs> oh, how big... Look at these two matches. Like he beat Ultima Dino Queen and he beat Louse. And I'd say on the balance of the tournament, I think he deserves it. I think he does deserve it. Because all the heavy hitters he had to face. He had to face me. He had to face Tor. He had to face, you know, tough matches against Temple. He lost to Team Primal Carnage. He had so many adversities going against him in the group stage. So the fact that he got out of there was quite as impressive on his own. He had to face an in-form engineer gaming who was looking really strong. And, you know, Darius was quite the dark horse as well. And then obviously Ultima Dino Queen, one of the tournament favourites. So, yeah. Ultima Dino, he deserves that. Just for the sheer amount of calibre of opposition he had to face. I mean, Lausbap had some tough matches as well, but... You know, Dark Ashta, you know, was a tough match. Didn't, didn't, <laughs> wasn't hundred percent. You know, Cipher Sky Dragon X did beat him in the group stage, so that could have been a toughie. Could have been a banana skin. And you know, he did beat the guy that knocked me out. But, but yeah, other than that, like, oh, you know, it was, it felt like an easier road for Laos than it was for Ultima, and for Ultima to finally break his losing duct against Laos as well. Like, that's, a, that's another victory for Ultimate there. A well-deserved victor and a deserved champion of the 2021 Dinosaur King Tournament. Oh, I want to do, do another one now. <laughs> but, yep, yeah, you all know the deal. Once I, if I get to a 1,000 subscribers before August, I will do another tournament starting it in September. If not, the next tournament will probably be mid-January 2021. Well, 2022. Like this, like this one. So, yep, yeah, that is the tournament, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, final word on it. Congratulations to Ultima Dino King. And thank you to everyone who entered in the tournament. Because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. So, I do thank you for that. And I hope to see you all again in the future tournaments. And I definitely, I have definitely learned a lot of strategies from you guys. And I'm sure, and I'm sure some of you guys have probably learned some strategies of your own, so you can hopefully, for your sakes, do better in ne in the next tournament. And I really look forward to seeing you guys in the next tournament. I really look forward to starting it. But until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.